listeriosis is very important disease of the ruminants, especially the sheep, causing encephalitis and abortion. Listeriosis abortion is not the only classical symptom or classical sign that you get it. Besides, there is a gastroenteric form, there is a nervous form, and then there is an abortion form. So three different forms are manifested based upon the physiological status of the animal. If the animal is having gestating, then naturally that leads to abortion along with the nervous symptoms. So Listeria is a gram-positive intracellular bacteria that is present in the environment and it is it can multiply in silages, it can multiply in low temperatures and can be preserved and that can act as a source of infection for the other animals. Most common way by which Listeriosis causes abortion is by hematogenic rope where there is a complete septicemia that can lead to endophthalmitis. This is the most common thing that you find in the sheep along with the meningoencephalitis. That is why it leads to the typical suckling form. The septicemia, myelitis, uv uveitis, gastroenteritis and mastitis these are the other symptoms that needs to be noticed. The differential diagnosis is that listeriosis is having little more manifestation compared to the uh, etiological agents like brucella that typically causes only infertility or abortion. Whereas your uh, chlamydia that typically causes abortion and there is no retention of placenta in case of uh, chlamydia. Whereas there, is, whereas there is a retention of placenta in brucellosis. So you can just relate the things and then we can differentially diagnose various etiological agents that is causing abortions. So as you can say, the symptoms and uh, clinical signs, death occur especially due to septicemia. Even mortality is highly common, whereas mortality is not very common in the case of brucellosis, most uncommon. The rate of abortion can reach as high as 15 percentage. Almost I can say uh, listeriosis is the most common cause of abortion in case of sheep especially, if not goats. You can also find other clinical symptoms, paralysis, uh, neural symptoms and all those things. And uh, even we found macerated fetus is also very common. Like what you find coxiella that we found few case. Although maceration was not very common in uh, coxiella, but maceration is mostly reported or weak, uh, more weak moribund lambs have been reported in the listeriosis in the case of sheep. And usually listeria comes as an outbreak. It comes as an outbreak. It is not a sporadic one. 